went to school in Glasgow, the highlight of the day was eating junk food at lunchtime. And I was always the kind of fat guy that would bring in a note to PE, like, please excuse Kevin from volleyball, he's <laughs> off to Greg's. So... <laughs> sure. Patrick, Kevin, you're to go first. Who's the greatest living Briton? Susan Boyle. <laughs> People give Susan Boyle a hard time, but I think she's a good-looking fella. I, I think she is. <laughs> <laughs> they're, doing a, they're doing a film of her life as well. Are they? Uh, yeah, and I thought, how interesting is that? The first 40 years is just her feeding cats. <laughs> I think she'd be a perfect replacement for Michael Jackson at the O2. <laughs> no, I, honestly, because now that, you know, Michael Jackson's cancelled, they've renamed the O2... He the... cancelled. <laughs> he cancelled. <laughs> Just for a second. No. <laughs> By the way, I've just about to die. I don't think I can do the show. I can tell you, Susan Ball, the public didn't vote for her. No, but... Have, I... have another guess. Oh, Tim Berners-Lee. The guy who created the internet. If you invented the internet, it must be rubbish. There's no websites are out. Well, there's nothing to do on it. It's not even got cinema listings. There's or... nothing to do on the website. <laughs> not when you're the first person. It's like the bloke who invented the phone for the first time. Like, you know, Alexander Graham Bell. Who did he ring? How did he know it worked? <laughs> Surely, if you invent something, you can always invent another one to go with it. What, inv invented two? I think he invented two phones at the same go. Yeah. So... <laughs> so, Jason... Hello. Hello, it's, it's me! Hello! <laughs> Same gauge, you idiot. <laughs> I can tell you, Tim Berners-Lee not voted in the, in the top 50 Britons. Oh. On the computer theme, I just found out Stephen Hawking is British. I never knew that until last week. I could never... never place the accent, I suppose. <laughs> He went to Stringfellows. He likes Stringfellows. In 2003, Hawking reportedly visited Stringfellows. That must be weird if you're in the booth next to him. And you can, in the next one, you just hear, play with your boobies. I <laughs> 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 so like the cosmos. <laughs> I think he's the perfect go bloke to go for a pint with, though. WKD for me and a WD40 for him. It's perfect. <laughs> Do you know what I would really like to see him on? I'd really like to see him on Mastermind, cos he's so bright. Mastermind? Have you not seen Robot Wars? He'd kill on that. No! <laughs> well, let's have a look and see whether Stephen Hawking is yep. up there. There he is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Stephen Hawking was voted the greatest living Britain by the British public. Hawking's A Brief History of Time is a hugely successful book. Over 200 million people in 100 different countries have now read the first two pages. <laughs> Perhaps his two most famous quotes are, the total energy of the universe is exactly zero, and, warning, vehicle reversing. <laughs> right, other great living Britons, Jason's team. It's got to be somebody else who, who is revered, like David Beckham, for example. Cos he's one of those people who I always, I always put together with Stephen Hawkins. I always think... Cos... No, because everyone has a... Look, you're, like, you're giggling already, because he's like... The, everyone goes, oh, he's stupid, isn't he, David Beckham? You're like, well, that's not what he's famous for. He's famous <laughs> for being brilliant at football. Nobody goes, oh, Stephen Hawking, you might be clever, but I'd piss on him in a race. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, he's I don't think Stephen Hawking would sell as many underpants as David Beckham, would he? <laughs> and the other thing about David Beckham is he always advertises foreign stuff, doesn't he? He always advertises, like, police sunglasses, Dolce & Gabbana. Why doesn't he do, like, Aunt Bessie's Yorkshire puddings? <laughs> <laughs> These are lovely. It's, back, it's a bit like my Michael Jackson voice. <laughs> <laughs> These are Yorkshire puddings, you just take them out of the freezer and... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> Sham on! Yeah. I like seeing proper fat blokes with Beckham on the back of their England shirt. And then I like to run after him down the street going, David! <coughs> David! <laughs> David, can I get you? David, can I get you? Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry, I thought you were the real one. <laughs> he used to be a, a lovely-looking chap, but he's got too many tattoos, doesn't he? Look, he look, he's only the contents page if he carries on like this. <laughs> Presumably, they're all to remind him of the things he's not supposed to forget. He's got his son's names somewhere on his back or something. He's got, he's got forever by my side on his arm. <laughs> it's presumably to remind him where to keep that. <laughs> oh, well, I can tell you, David Beckham is not in the top five. Oh. Great greatness. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Beckham recently branded a journalist a sado. What kind of Wally says sado? Dave. <laughs> When he resigned as England captain, Beckham broke down in tears as he realised he'd have to spend more time with her. <laughs> Another guest from Shortstone. Jamie, Jamie Oliver, is he there? Because uh, he's good work for the schools. See, I, I feel sorry because when I went to school in Glasgow, the highlight of the day was eating junk food at lunchtime. And I was always the kind of fat guy that would bring in a note to PE, like, please excuse Kevin from volleyball, he's <laughs> off to Greg's. So... <laughs> 
What I'm saying is the guy's effort is pretty commendable, whether you like yes, it or not. Yeah, I, no, I think so. Tried. I got really upset with those, as a mother, with those mums that went and fed fish and chips to their kids through the school oh, gate. Yeah. Oh, in, yeah, in, in mm. sort of a... What's the word? Through Rebellion. The uh, yeah. Photo opportunity? Because it was like, yeah, well... <laughs> My kid's gonna die of obesity by the time he's 14. That'll learn that, Jamie Oliver. <laughs> but it is weird, it, but I've read like, people were saying, oh, he's only doing it to become famous. <laughs> like, if that's a byproduct of doing something nice and good, then so be it, you know what I mean? If the, if the bloke who invents the cure for cancer wants to name the cure after himself, no one's gonna go, big headed prick. <laughs> <laughs> mumps, do you know who discovered the mumps? No. Who? No. Have a guess. Do Dr. Mumps? No. It was actually discovered by Dr. Gonorrhea. <laughs> but he was saving his name for something a bit more serious. <laughs> I can't waste my name on a little red lump. <laughs> something that rots the cock. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, Jamie Oliver is not in the top five. Ooh. Over the years, Jamie has helped popularise certain phrases, like pucker, lovely jubbly, mm. and is there anything else on? Another guest, greatest living Britain. Is, is, is Thatcher on there? Thatcher, Thatcher, milk snatcher. She's, which I think she got off remarkably lightly for. It's like having a go at Hitler for making the moustache a little less fashionable, isn't it? <laughs> it's like saying, Hitler, Hitler, now we can't have moustaches that are littler, that is. <laughs> but I bet she's on there, that odious old toad. I remember when I was a kid, we weren't allowed um, that soft, whippy ice cream because she invented it, apparently. Margaret Thatcher <laughs> invented... <laughs> you got the same Margaret Thatcher? Uh, I'm telling you, her and uh, Dr Whippy, uh, they got together <laughs> and she invented soft Whippy ice cream. She was, she was part of the, the team that, that discovered this, that. Was this before she was Foreign Secretary? That is real. That is real. Have a look. Google How it when you get home. Well, that woman's not in! That woman's not in! And she's not mental. <laughs> same thing happened in our house. We weren't... At Christmas, we weren't allowed tinsel because Robert Mugabe invented tinsel. <laughs> True. But she was voted in three times, so a lot of people back in the day oh, must no. have must have liked her. People say that oh she had to do what she did, and that's why you've got to admire her for that because she had to do what she did. A dog's colon has to extract water from its feces before it pushes it out through its anus. But I'm not going to buy a commemorative plate for that either. Let's have a look and see whether Margaret Thatcher was she one of the greatest no. living Britons. She's oh, bound to be. No. She's bound to be. Surely not. No! <laughs> Incredibly, yes, the British public voted Thatcher the fourth greatest living Briton. Thatcher recently broke her arm in what doctors describe as a good start. <laughs> Thatcher says she doesn't want her funeral to be a morbid affair, she wants it to be a celebration. Well, you won't be disappointed, love. It'll be like Mardi Gras. There'll be a conga. 